SIBO and POTS, let's talk about it. These are two things that commonly go together where we have problems with autonomic symptoms that ultimately end up in this bacterial overgrowth in the small intestine. But a lot of times, people will try to solve that first, thinking it's going to take care of all the autonomic symptoms. While that's worth considering, you also might think about how did that bacteria start to overgrow in the first place? And the way we think about that is through the terrain, the ability of the autonomic system to be able to control the vasculature and the underlying tissue so that we don't get the wrong type of bacteria that grows in. So when we look at SIBO, we're probably looking at something that's more of a lagging indicator, something that came from the autonomic problem first that results in this bacterial overgrowth. Now, I know for a lot of people that's going to be tricky to think about, but what's more interesting is if can I solve the underlying autonomic problem and help that GI function get better and get rid of that bacterial overgrowth doesn't mean I can't do the dietary things, the supplementary things that go with that. We just want to make sure we do it in a way that supports the whole system. Let me know what you think about that. Leave us a comment. And we'll talk soon.